Hello and welcome back to Tricore Gaming with me, Fletcher. So today Frontier did a long two hour stream where it revealed some upcoming information for their games and we were all expecting some news about Jurassic World Evolution 2. And I thought I would do a quick video on the information and my thoughts about it. So what specifically was revealed? So it wasn't particularly much of a reveal, it was only a sort of a 30 second long announcement. But they did announce that they are working on a new species pack and at the present time it is only a species pack and during that reveal they also gave away that the principal animal of this pack or at least one of the four is going to be megalodon because the image they presented has megalodon megalodon jaws in it so we know probable that megalodon is definitely in this pack they didn't give away much else they were clear we were going to have to wait a couple more weeks for information. So what could this mean? I think at the very best, this does give more weight to a possible Cenozoic era pack, whether it's just focused on Ice Age animals like the Willy Mammoth, or whether they take animals from other eras and bring us the Smilodon or something like that. We don't know yet. And that is one thing I would like to to point out the most you know reddit is absolutely full of speculation and everything at the moment but we basically have no information what we have is megalodon's jaws and a new species pack we have nothing more than that so everything else is pretty speculative until we get new information i'm not going to speculate here about what sorts of animals we could actually get because i would rather have actual news and i think other people like evo and that have done a far better job of speculating what sorts of animals we could get what i do want to do is go into my thoughts about this so firstly i know a lot of folks are going to be very happy about this i know evo is absolutely ecstatic i know a lot of folks were really wanting megalodon the last time we got aquatic animals and i know that some people were a bit disappointed that we didn't and we got dunkleosteus instead and i do want to make it clear that if you're one of those that are really happy about this and really hyped for megalodon more the power to you i'm not here to to say that it's a bad thing to be hyped we all have prehistoric animals that we love more than others and so if you if you are hyped to see megalodon then yeah be hyped and i'm not here to to lower anybody's hype for me i'm a little bit more reserved personally i don't really see the fascination with megalodon and i do think it's clear that frontier knows full well that this is going to make a lot of money because people will pay just for the megalodon alone it doesn't really matter what the other animals are at this point, people will pay just for the Meg. So I think that's going to mean the depiction of the Meg we do get is going to be pretty much in line with the most popular depictions, which is that of a large great white shark. So I think it's going to be a fairly dull and very expected depiction. And just on a personal level, there are more interesting animals that I think the lagoons could have. And in fact, I did do a video on it, which I'll link in the top corner. The other thing I want to say is that while Megalodon fans will love its presence, the fact is the lagoons already have the ongoing issues that so many folks don't like using them due to the limitations of the lagoon system in the game. I would argue to folks that are really hyped for the megalodon that we were all you know many people were hyped for the dunkleosteus and the chronosaurus and still at least as far as those who come and join my stream say people still rarely use the lagoons because of the limited systems they come with will having a megalodon change that in any way i don't think it will and this is my problem with Frontier focusing so heavily on species packs alone. It was really telling to me that just before this announcement, we were all told about Planet Zoo's newest expansion, not just new species, but a whole new scenario and new decorative parts as well. A really substantial DLC. Meanwhile, Jurassic World Evolution 2 got its fourth species pack in a row and I will say what I said the last time when the hybrid DLC came out, the games do not need more species. The game has too many already. Without new lagoon features or new lagoon decorations, even having Megalodon 
it's still just a very big shark in a very boring pond. Now of course we don't know at this stage if there's going to be a free update or not with this pack. I would hope that Frontier has learned their lesson from the hybrid DLC and that they will have something free to release alongside this DLC, especially considering the backlash they got for not doing that with the hybrid DLC. I would hope that if they are going to release something for free alongside this pack that they do tackle the problems with the lagoons. Make the lagoons more interesting to use so that more people use them. And that really is what I'm hoping at the moment. You know, the best outlook for this for this DLC for me is that yes, we get Megalodon, maybe we get a mammoth or something similar. Maybe we get Smilodon, maybe we get a Terror Bird of some description. That there is a free update alongside this DLC which improves the lagoons or just adds something, you know, some new things to build with that would be really, really appreciated. Maybe even some decorations with a Megalodon feel to them, you know, something for free. And I hope the Megalodon itself, that they give it some nice skins and they give it some good animations a good social animation. A part of me is not sure, I, a part of me thinks they'll probably just use a Dunkleosteus rig because it's the one that most prob probably the closest to a Megalodon in terms of movement, but I hope that it comes with good animations. I'm trying my best not to be too cynical or pessimistic here because at the end of the day I don't want anyone to feel bad for liking the news or for being hyped. For me, I, I want to have more detail before I come to any sort of opinion. Megalodon is not enough for me to be excited, but I know a lot of people are. And if you are excited, good. But yeah, just a, a quick video about this. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Are you excited to have the Megalodon? Are you more interested in what possible other animals might be coming alongside it? What about the free update? Do you think there is some free update stuff that they could bring along and what might that be? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Obviously, when we find out more information, I'll do some more videos. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.